Okay, so as the sun sets in the beautiful Cape Town, I have an awesome review lined up for you guys. On the one hand, I shoot analog, right? I shoot film. And on the other side, I also shoot digital, both professionally and for personal use. And when you combine those two, you get a beautiful hybrid photography baby. And that's what we're gonna speak about today. What's up YouTube fam? It's your boy AJ the Alchemist, AKA Eye of Alchemy, coming at you with another video. And today, like I said, we have a bit of a hybrid situation, which is this baby right here. And this is a digital printer that prints on analog film. Let's jump into that. So this is the Fujifilm Instax Link Wide. Now, firstly, that is a long name. So I'm just gonna name you Dave. Now, Davey boy over here is quite small for what he is. As you can see, this thing is only 12 centimeters tall, 13 centimeters wide, and about three centimeters thick. So it's ultra portable. And to add to that, it only weighs 340 grams. So you don't have to worry about, is this thing gonna fit in my bag? Is it gonna, is there gonna be enough space in the car? Like if you're a chunky boy like me, you can literally just slide this into your coat pocket and nobody will be and the wiser. This comes in two colors, namely mocha gray, which is this one over here. And then you also get ash white. And to add to the minimalist aesthetic, you only have one butter on, one butter, really? One butter. To add to the minimalist aesthetic, you only have one button on the printer. So you might be wondering, well, how does this thing work? And I'll get to that later. It's finished in a rippled matte texture, which I think is beautiful. So let's get into how this thing works. Dave is operated completely from your mobile app. And because he is a lover, not a fighter, you can use both iOS and Android to operate this thing, which I think is awesome. As the name states, it prints on Instax wide film, which is gonna give you a print of about 10 centimeters by six centimeters, which is pretty big for instant film. So I think you're pretty good with that. This thing, you can literally pl plint. Yes, you can plint. Oh! All good, all good. So for ease of use, this printer is not in my hand to show you. <laughs> so for ease of use, this thing is pretty simple to use. There is literally only one button on it. You hold the button to put it on, you hold the button to put it off. Once you connect your phone to the printer via the app, your phone will automatically connect every single time you put the printer on after that. Oh, and you know that thing where you hate being disturbed when you're sleeping because you might punch the person? Yeah, not Dave. You can literally print on this thing while you are charging. Now, this thing is jam-packed with features and I'm going to start at the simple stuff and work my way up in levels of sophistication. So let's jump into that. Firstly, you have the ability to use filters on this thing. Namely, you have monochrome, sepia and auto. And auto is pretty cool because Dave is like, you know what, I'm gonna edit this photo for my homie. So he gives you the best possible picture that he thinks will suit your look, which I think is cool. Basically what I'm trying to say is it color corrects. Now on top of all of that, you also are given the basic ability to edit your photos. So you can adjust your brightness, your contrast and your saturation. And I mean, then you can fine tune your picture to how you like it. You can also crop your image, you can rotate it, you can zoom in, zoom out. All of that stuff is made available to you. On the topic of customizability, you can also add some fun borders to your images. You can print in different formats. So if you just want to print a simple picture, you can do that. If you want to edit your picture and write on it and then print, you can do that. If you want to print a collage, you can also do that. So tons of customizability with this baby. While we're speaking about editing, you can also select two color modes, namely rich and natural mode. Natural mode is going to give you that muted tones, that filmic look. My personal favorite is rich mode because it gives you that punchy 90s aesthetic, which I think looks pretty cool. Now at this point, you're probably thinking, damn, Dave is awesome. I wish I could take a picture of this video and keep it forever. Well, 
you kind of can if you're using Dave. You can actually open a video in your app and you can select one single frame of that video and print it out. That is absurdly awesome. For photographers like myself and probably you, you also learn composition and colors by studying films. So if I can choose one frame and use that as inspiration for ideas, why not? The cherry on top of this thing for me is the fact that you can add a QR code anywhere on your picture. And you can add that QR code in multiple colors as well. Now, why is this so great? Well, that QR code can be a location, it can be a hidden text message, it can be a voice clip, or my personal favorite, it can be a link to a website. Now, I'll throw up some footage of my beloved Nikon F and Nikon FE, and you'll see that there is a QR code. And if you scan that QR code, it will be a link to my YouTube channel. And while we're on that topic, you might as well hit that subscribe button, because you know I'm gonna give you some more fire content. Why is this QR code so awesome? Well, let me tell you how I'd use this thing. If I have clients who are waiting for their photos, if I just shot a wedding, if I just did a portrait shoot, and they're building anticipation and they can't wait anymore, printing a couple of photos and giving it to them is an awesome way for you to stand out from the sea of photographers who are trying to offer the same thing. So, who is this thing for? This thing is made for anybody who wants to create and share memories or professionals who want to market their business. If you just want to stick images on your fridge, this thing is awesome for you. But if you are a professional and you want to use this as a marketing tool, I think that's where this thing's potential really excels. So for cost, we're looking at about 2,000 to 2,300 Rand. And in US dollars, that's about 130 to 150 bucks which I think is a lot of value for money. Before this video ends, I just want to ask you guys, if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys the next time I see you. Peace.